In this video, you are going to learn what is an auto closure in Swift. Imagine you have this code, a generic function called value that receives an optional of type T and a closure named compute that generate a value if the optional is nil. If the first parameter contains a value, we return it. If not, we call compute to get a new value. Now look at how we might use it. If current user exists, user uses that value. Otherwise, we load the user from disk, which is an expensive operation. Because the second parameter is a closure, Swift requires the curly braces. That's how closures are written. But here is the thing. When the argument is a simple expression, those braces can feel unnecessarily noisy. Wouldn't it be nice if Swift could wrap it in a closure automatically? That's exactly what autoclosure does. Autoclosure automatically wraps an expression into a closure, so you don't have to write the braces manually. It's like telling Swift, hold this expression, but don't run it yet. And here is an important detail from the Swift documentation. A parameter marked with autoclosure must be a closure with no parameters. It must follow this form. And here is another limitation that is easy to overlook. Autoclosures can't be async, meaning they don't support Swift concurrency. So autoclosures are always synchronous and non-concurrent. With that in mind, the example becomes something like this, much cleaner. And although it looks like a regular expression, remember, it's still a closure under the hood. The expression won't run until compute is actually called, which is perfect for delaying expensive operations. But here is the catch. Because autoclosure hides the closure syntax, it also hides that the work is being delayed. If your expression has side effects like printing, mutating states, saving data, etc., it might run later than you expect, or maybe not at all. So use autoclosures only when they make APIs clearer, not when they hide important logic. Here are three examples of functions that use autoclosure in Swift. Assert, used for debug-only checks. Precondition, similar to assert, but can also be checked in release builds. And fatal error, that will crash your app if the method is executed. Lastly, you can combine autoclosure with escaping if you want to store that expression and run it later. If you want to explore more about escaping closures, I have a video in the description. There are other useful attributes in Swift, like this one about retroactive. Or if you prefer to learn more about generics, you have another video as well. My name is Pete, and this, this is Tips. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.